Hello and welcome to my channel Artisans Web. In today's video, we will see how to integrate AdSense custom search on your website. If you got the approval of Google AdSense, then you got the code from Google AdSense for displaying their advertise on your blog. As you can see, I have say I have show some advertise from the Google AdSense. Now, Google AdSense provide one more way to earn money from your blog, which is using their AdSense search. Here it is, this one. Okay, so I show you. If I search something from here, like WordPress, and make enter. So here we are seeing the search result from my website in the Google search page format. Now along with this search, these are the actual blog posts of my website. And along with this search, WordPress show some, sorry, Google show some advertisement on our search result page. And if your visitor click on one of these advertise you will earn money for it so this is another way of earning money through adsense so let's see how we can integrate on your website i have already included it but let's see it step by step how i did this now at first you need to click on your my ads then search and then custom search engine now this is the uh, search engine I have created already for my website so for example we create one more so I give a name search one then select from here only site I select now specify list of website to search one URL per line so here we have to put our website URL from which our data should display on the search page now here is the keywords uh, you can put from your niche so i put wordpress laravel and php you search search capacities then here for you have to select country language then next one click on search result now here uh, we have to display search result on our website itself so click on on my website then url where search result page will be displayed so for it i enter my site url slash search now click on save and get code so as we have given this search URL like our site URL slash search. So you have to create search page on your website. So I have already created it. Here search page. And as we have to display search result on this page. So we have to paste this code search result code. This code under the editor of your search page i have already placed here my code so by this way our search result will display on this page in the google search result format next one is we have to copy this code and place it as our search box so actually on my website i am not using this search box code because if we paste this code you get the search form HTML uh, it's a miss Google provided search form you got using this code I show you for example here so this is short code actually I have created which we discuss in moment so instead of this short code I paste this search form code and just remove this short code for now now i click on 
ہے Here we go. We got the search form like this. Uh, now it's up to you. You can keep this search form as it is for your website search. But if you want search form in different way, uh, which can match with your site, then in WordPress you can do by this way. So I show you. So I revert this code back to my short code. and save so uh, this is the short code so open your functions.php file and i show you what i did so i added this line first add short code add sense search and second parameter is get search form so get search form is uh, by uh, means what i can say uh using the get search form we got the default search form our wordpress now here i again declare my same short code add sense search and give it a callback function add sense search form here and i have declared it here now uh here i declare the my own form which match with my current website here so for it i just add the markup which match with my website and to the action url i pass the url of search page because we have to display our search result on the search page so here i have pass action to my search page url next one is span this is just a label now next one is is search field so in the search field we have to give name as a queue and value dollar q here we are getting the means whatever parameter we are getting from url we place it on our search field using the dollar q so by this way we can integrate our own form for our adsense search result so all you need to do is just give action parameter to the url specific url and give the your search field name as a queue now uh, when you enter any keyword it will redirect to search page along with parameter queue here search page queue equal to wordpress queue equal to wordpress because we are setting that value from here and then pass it to here and we got our result as well so it's all about implementing adsense search on your website so i hope you understand the tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching video have a nice day